My name is Dave Osborne. I'm a carpenter out of Local One. I've been a union carpenter for 21 years. I grew up uh, northwest side of the city, uh, single mom. I uh, never met my dad. My mom pretty much raised me by herself, you know, did the best she could kind of thing. And, um, you know, we moved around a lot when I was a kid. I was always the new guy. I always had to make new friends, always had to fit in. Didn't know how long we were going to stay there. And um, around junior high, I fell in with a group of people and we found alcohol and uh, I finally fit in, you know. I just thought, again, I was Mr. Fun Guy, life of the party, and uh, moved on to some harder drugs from there. You know, became a carpenter around 24, and, um, you know, it wasn't a big deal to come into work with a hangover. Everyone else was hungover, too, and, you know, we worked hard, and so we earned our beer afterwards was the kind of catchphrase. You know, I just didn't think anything I was ever doing was abnormal, atypical, you know. I always wanted a family more than anything from a very young age and um, experiencing all the medical, um, just the rarity of the uh, things that my wife experienced trying to have children. Um, I just thought, you know, this is, I'm doomed. We're never going to have kids. And, and my son came along and he is um, literally an absolute miracle, medical miracle. And, um, Becoming a dad has been the most amazing thing in my life. He's about six months old, you know, and I'm thinking I won the lottery. You know, life is great. Everything's finally worked itself out. And my wife could not have been unhappier and expressing this to me. And, uh, you know, I agreed to go to marriage counseling. Um, it was the third time we were at the marriage counselor that she brought up that I'm under the influence 24 hours a day of something or multiple things. And, and the woman asked me, you know, do you think you have a problem? And I almost sarcastically answered, yeah, I have a problem, but what, what can we even do about it? And she laid out some solutions to me that um, in the moment I just agreed to. I, um, I reached out to our, to our fund, which was a different fund back then. And that day I, I wound up uh, in treatment and little to nothing out of pocket. And I wound up at a pretty decent place. Um, and it, it saved my life, it saved my family. It, um, it was the greatest decision I've ever made. I haven't had to, needed to, wanted to take a drink or a drug uh, since and uh, still married, have uh, had had another child since sobriety. Well, the greatest two gifts I've ever received, and uh, wouldn't have any of it. I wouldn't be here talking to you if I still chose to put the poison in my body. The past 12 years. Um, have just been amazing. You know, I've grown as a, as a human. I, I sometimes feel like I'm a 12 year old because I started life over 12 years ago. I know how to handle situations now that uh, I didn't know how to handle, you know, when I was operating as such. You know, it's, it's, it's progress, not perfection. You know, I'm not a saint, I'm not a hero. I haven't saved the world. I'm just, uh, just working on me one day at a time, you know, as, as best I can to, uh, to be a father for my kid, to be uh, kids, to be a husband for my wife, and uh, the solutions are out there. Um, what we have just at our fingertips is, uh, is enough to save your life, you know, it really is. It's just that first step is picking up the phone, you know, it's the heaviest weight there is sometimes, but uh, can change your life if you do it. Mm -hmm.